IAS 36, impairment of assets, is, is a really relevant standard in the modern age. And that's where it looks at, are the assets of the business overvalued? And the basic rule is that the carrying amount of an asset, that's the figure in the balance sheet, can't exceed its recoverable amount. Now, recoverable amount sounds like that's what you can get for selling it, but it's not. Really, it's the maximum value you can get from that asset. Now, there are two ways that you get value from an asset. You use it or you sell it. And so it's the maximum of those two. So you compare the value in use and the fair value less cost to sell. Now, the slight problem with both of those is they are quite judgmental. Value in use is based on the present value of future cash flows in an entity. And fair value less cost to sell is, is the market value it would fetch for selling the asset. Now, traditionally, that has led to a criticism that impairments are recognised too little and too late particularly around that value in use calculation where firms are maybe optimistic about the present value of future cash flows. Now in a post-COVID world, that is something we would expect to see change where those estimates become a little more prudent and it will be expected that we might see higher impairments than we've previously seen. The key with that is that impairments on physical assets can be reversed, so land and buildings and so on, but impairments on goodwill can't be. So those are likely to fall in the future without coming back.